in this video we are going to look at how to deploy your django machine learning app on on heroku so this is the last video of the series uh, if you have watched the other all the other previous series uh, you would, would be at this particular position where you have created your entire uh, app okay so to deploy this so the first thing that we you need to have is uh, you need to push your entire code onto your github so I'm assuming that you have uh, pushed all your code onto your GitHub and to deploy it on Heroku, you also must have a Heroku account. OK, so you can simply it's free. You can simply sign in and you have your Heroku account ready. Right? So two prerequisites are your entire code should be here and you must have a Heroku account. OK, great. The next part is where we are going to connect your Heroku and your GitHub. OK, so as you know in this particular app we have used many different libraries right we have used pickle you have used we have used sklearn and everything right so to deploy it you must tell heroku uh, that whenever you will uh, use whenever you will you will deploy my app please install all these libraries and it will understand it will execute your code properly all right so let, let me show you the uh, deployed so this is the deployed uh, app same thing that we have on our, on uh, the local host right so this is the one great now what you need here is so you need basically two things to deploy your django app on Heroku. the first thing that you need is something called as requirements.txt so this requirements.txt will contain all your libraries that you are using in your app okay to get this you can simply do pip freeze and you are able to uh, get this so let me show you that too so on your so i'm into my environment so if i simply say pip please so that will print all the libraries that are getting used uh, getting used here okay so if you're using more libraries you can do pip freeze and do that copy this and create a requirements.txt file and uh, you are ready with your requirements or text file. And there's also another command where you can directly download it also. So I think it is pip fees and requirements dot requirements dot you know text. This is the command I believe, right? So that will uh, already that will automatically download the file as well. Now the next thing is you need to uh, connect your GitHub, your code, and your Heroku account. All these three right so for this we need something called as proc file so this particular proc file you can get it from my github so i'll tell you what this proc file is so this proc file will actually run the command python manage.py okay so when you, whenever you run your uh, django app you do this right you write the command python manage.py and then run server right this is what you do so the proc file is telling you telling the same thing right and the next part is the G unicorn. Now here is what you need to do. You need to customize a little bit. So in your requir requirements.txt file, you need to install this. So just add this manually, G unicorn and this particular version. And so it will install when you uh, link your link your GitHub to your Heroku. Okay. And go to a proc file. When you go to a proc file, you use the G unicorn and you tell which project to run so this is churn is the project right so this could be anything this could be any uh, any one of your django project right so make sure you do this change and then you uh, use this proc file with your on your github once both of these are created push them on your github so i have both so i have the requirement.txt and i have the proc file as well right now that is done so your github is ready now you go to your you log into your heroku this is your heroku click on new create new app name it available that's available click on create app right now the deployment method is connect to github and go to github search for your repo so this is uh, telecom So this is my uh, 
GitHub repo, right? Connect it. So it says connected and now you need to choose your branch. So in this case, it's only one and you click deploy branch. So once you deploy the branch, it will give you the URL. So I've already done this. I won't do it again. So once you do that, you will get this. So the name of the app will be for like in this case, it will be test. Uh, if you deploy this, it will be test telecom HS and you will get that right. And if you face any errors, uh, you will have to check the Heroku logs. All right. So to check the Heroku logs, you need to give the name of your app, uh, whatever app that you have, and you can check the logs from your command prompt. So to, to do that, I have already created one video uh, on my YouTube channel where you can see how to check the Heroku logs, right? I'll put that uh, link in the description below. So that particular video actually shows you how to deploy a streamed app on Heroku. So in that, I have already showed how to uh, check, right? I already have an article uh, how to uh, check the Heroku logs and deploy your stream data app. You can go through that as well and you can check your logs if uh, the deployment gives you any errors, okay? So that's this is the simple way of deploying, right? So when you click on deploy branch, it will deploy and you are ready and you can share your uh, app with anyone you want, right? So this is the last, uh, this is the last uh, video of this particular series that I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you uh, you are able to replicate the entire app. Uh, let us know if there are any issues you are facing. Uh, let us know this in the comments. You can reach out to your on our email ID as well. I will put the email ID in the description below. You can message us. You can ping me on LinkedIn as well. And I hope you learned something. This uh, this is, this this was a big uh, series that I've created for the first time. If you like our content, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, this was helpful. Thanks.